channel. I'm so extra excited today because we have a very, very special guest. I'm sure Kilan um, Nenosha, he's all over the place and he's been in the industry for the longest time. You all know him as a TV host, weather anchor, and like the king of our Hari Nam trivia. <laughs> Y'all know who he is? Give it up for Kim Atienza. Thank you. Thank you. Magandang araw sa lahat ng mga subscribers dito, Jean, and thank you very much for uh, inviting me here. It's such an honor and a pleasure to be with you. Likewise. But, um, alam niyo ba si Jean, when I was in the morning show, I was in the morning show for about uh, six years. Nakikita kami na palagi sa mga events. Ang kaparte mo palagi was do or yan. Yes. Kaya palagi mo kasama, ano ba? Minsan alun, minsan ang dolita. Uh, but I was in the morning show as well. That's when I... I, I so looked up to you then, the gym. My gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to that you know a lot of things. Um, yeah. So let's start off with um, trivia. Can you give us any type of uh, trivia, celebrity trivia, perhaps? Alam niyo ba na salitang Regina, dahil sa Latin word na Regina, ang ibig sabihin ay Reina. Sa ating ganyan, sa ating kapastila, na Reina. At Tolentino naman, si Arturo Tolentino naman, ang uh, kaisa-isa, opposition o administration, assembly man, ang nanalo, noong panahon ng 1984, pata sa Revolution sa Maynila. Di ba ang nanalo, galing sa Tunido, opposition at isa lang, galing sa KB, galing sa Arturo Tolentino. Who ran also as Vice President of Marcos. That was in the 80s. Pero, ang ganda ng pangalan mo kasi Queen na Queen ka talaga. Wow! Thank you so much! Alam niyo ba na mayroong bagong bagyo ngayon? Ano mo sa Philippine Air Force Bank, ito yung mga mo sa ITC Zero in the Tropical Convergent Zone. Ano naman ang ito yung Tropical Convergent Zone? Ito naman ang magsasulubo ng Northeastern Wind, sa Southeastern Wind, at sa hihit ang maunang panahon. That's east of Mindanao, na ang Blue Pressure Area na magbubo dyan, at magiging bagyo. Nagsimula na officially ang rainy season today. Today. So, uh, pag sinabing rainy season naman, sa Pilipinas, sanay na sanay tayo sinasabi merong summer, at mayroong rainy season. Alam niyo ba na wala tayong summer dito sa Pilipinas? Ang summer ay sa mga lugar na mananamig na mayroong four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Dito sa Pilipinas, dalawa season lamang. Tuyo at basa, or tag-init at tag-ulan. Tag-init at tag-ulan. Dry season and wet season. Wala pong summer sa Pilipinas, but we're accepted to use it colloquially na mayroong summer. Galing mo! Hindi ka ba nakukusa ka ba ng salita ever? Because I feel like if I just say something, kahit ano kaya mong, ano, to expound on any subject. Kasi with you, when you've been doing this kasi for, it's my 17th year already of television. So, often times you ask me something, and I don't know anything about that thing that you ask me, I can always get something from the side and make it appear like, ano, like, Like, mm. it's added knowledge, right, right. but I'm not replying to your question because okay. I don't know the answer. But <laughs> when I know the answer, I'll, I'll reply naman din. I see. Ganyan ka ba dati? Kahit bata ka ba? You, were you always very smart was, in school? Regina, I was not very good in school. Hindi ako masyadong mahilig uh, mag-aaral. Actually, I was so bad in school, I, I flunked my fourth year high school. Oh. I flunked, I had to repeat my fourth year. Uh, because I was not into academics, but when I got into something that I was passionate about, I would get all the books and spend the whole day in the library just getting the books about that thing that I wanted. I was very hyper-focused on things that I liked. Pero pag wala akong interest, nako, kahit na baliktarin mo ako, hindi ko mag-aaral na. In school, I was like that. I hated math, I hated trigonometry, but I liked botany and biology so much. I excelled so much on botany and biology, pero ang math ko, ang grade ko, 69. Really? Oh, kasi, oh, kasi hindi ko gusto talaga yan. Hindi ko gusto, wala akong interest. So, so how did that happen from point A na ganyan sa, sa school? What was your turning point to, well, say? To become a queen king? Yeah, to become a queen king. Kasi your family, di ba, for the mga politicians, hmm. how did, what was the transition or what was the turning point? Um, that, ay, nako, it's super natural. But I'll tell you the story since, uh, um, I had no idea whatsoever that I was going to be the replacement of Carter ni Baron. And you know how Karka Ernie Brown is the man, he's an icon, and he's called the walking encyclopedia, and he's supposed to know everything that that's asked of him, right? I looked up to him, everybody, everybody did. I never had that idea that I was going to replace him. Mm. 
But I always wanted to be in television. Back in the 80s, I took a film at Audiovisual Communications in college because I wanted to be on TV. I didn't want to be a director, like Tony. I didn't want to be a producer. I wanted to be on camera. Pero di ba yung standards ng 80s? Ang taas! Para sumikat ka lang, kailangan yeah, talaga yeah, walang yeah. anggulo sa... Oh. Kailangan talaga mula ka. Oh, yes. Kahit anong anggulo ng camera, maganda. <laughs> Ako, kahit anong anggulo, talaga yung sakto lang. <laughs> Pandemic, um, I, I went to so many things. Um, as, as for fitness, I, I stayed being fit mainly because uh, during the first months of each ECQ when we were made to stay indoors, I am privileged to have indoor equipment. I have an indoor bike, I have, I have Swift, I have an indoor treadmill, I have indoor weights. But when I was allowed, we were all allowed to go out right, to survive the GCQ, I started running like, every day and started swimming again. And then uh, I did the motorcycle, so it's honestly there. Um, I've been on a motorcycle for the past uh, five years, every day, I don't have a car now. But during the pandemic, I learned how to uh, fix my car, which is difficult. I, my, my bikes are all uh, vintage bikes. Yes. Mahila mga isa ng karbolo, tutong ng tono ng karbolo. Natutunan ko ang kunay na ugali na pamilya ko. Oh, my chance. Kasi, like, um, me and my wife have been married for almost 20 years now. 19 years ago, 20. Um, for the past 19 years, we'd wake up in the morning, we know that we only had 30 minutes to one hour to spend together because I was leaving for a show, she was leaving for her school. She owns school center. So that, that, that one hour that we're together, we show each other our best, we give each other 100%. Because we know that we And then she spends her whole day in school, I spend my whole day training and then going to my shows, and then we see each other at night. And at night, because we knew that was a quality time together, she show her best self, I would show her best self as well. Go to bed. Ang ganda, everything was a routine and everything was ideal. All of a sudden, the pandemic happens. We're together 24-7. Oh. So we saw the in-betweens. <laughs> okay. And it was new to me and it was new to her. Okay. And it caused a lot of uh, misunderstanding. Mm. I plant it also. You do you really love plants? I collect rare plants. Um, even before the pandemic, I am not only into animals, but I was collecting prehistoric plants called cycads. Mm. Uh, Encephalarchus is from Africa. These are plants that have existed during the time of the dinosaurs millions of years ago and have not changed. They still look the same. Oh, okay. And they're so hardy, kahit hindi pa lagaan ng buhay. Cycads, I collect cycads and palms. Mm. So, With palm, palm tree? Palm trees, oh, yeah. okay. I have different kinds of palms. I have cocodrinax. I have... Uh, Hashtag humility. But I do have a six pack. Uh, means I'm giving four sila, depending on the off-season. Ngayon na sa ano sila? Four and a half. Kasi off-season. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay lang. Sample naman dyan. Pwede pakita naman na apps. Para may inspire naman. Pero may wife. As an eight pack. If yeah. you check her Instagram, yeah. eight pack. Right. But she does it with determination and discipline. She works out six days a week. And then she, she watches what she eats. So she eats very healthy. She eats very clean. Me the man, um, I exercise a lot also. I swim, bike, and I run. But because there's a pandemic, I just run now. I bike every so often. I don't know how swimming is. I don't know how to So I, I just came from swimming. That's why I'm swimming mm. right now. So, so, can you show us your abs? Okay, lang para may inspire naman ang mga Marcy's at mga Parsi's ko dyan. Pasama mo na abs. Diba? Diba? Yeah. yeah, I was a bodybuilder and I used to compete in uh, I joined a couple of contests and I was a finalist in one. It was called Super Body of 1989. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I used to do ballet. I was with Manila Company's ballet for, for three years and the first season of Philippine Ballet Theater for two years. Um, so I was dancing a total of five years. I come from a family of dancers. My parents are both dancers. Mm, my dad and my mom met each other when they were on tour okay. for Miami and Philippines Dance Company. Oh. I know, I'm going to love story. Yeah. I met my wife one day before she was going to go abroad for oh. good. But I seized the day. Two days before she was going to 
on that day that she was going to leave, I told her, you know, very, uh, it's so unanimous, it's so, it's so obvious that you like me, that you that have something to me. But it's too drastic also to make you commit to me. Because you're leaving, it's going to be so unfair for you. I took off my watch. It was a techno marine. <laughs> a plastic techno marine, worth about 2,500. Took off, her, took off my watch. I go and gave it to her. So I Fendi, that has my energies. It has my spell. It has my sweat. It has my vibes. Okay. Wear it. It's coming December. Uh, be mine until December. When you come back this December, give back the watch to me. We'll renegotiate. But this coming three months, let's commit. Without batting an eye, she went to She took off her watch. Put it on my wrist. I'm yours until the same. And then... It's just... What the hell? It's not like I want to touch it. So I gave her a tech of I looked at the watch. Ito sa Bulgari, scuba kono, malin, malin, malin. Ano na para na ako dito sa Bulgari? Ano na para? But one of the anyway, but two in two weeks I found a way to visit her. Ito. I made it a habit to visit her at least every other month. But Fanny was here every other week. She'd fly home to Manila twice a month. She'd fly in on a Friday to be with me on a Saturday and take the plane back or on a Saturday night to be at work in London on a Monday. Grabe ha, that's love. Twice, twice a month. Marriage is love. It's an ongoing project. If you, if you put it on autopilot, even for a short time, it will not work. It's something will go wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, my relationship, relationship with Ferry is an ongoing project and we take it a day at a time. Today, I'm my best to my wife and she's her best to me. Tomorrow, it will be the same, but we, we don't, no autopilot. <laughs> when I started getting my real job, I mean, by 1530, I did a part time. Yeah. The first thing I bought was a motorcycle. Oh. I, bought, I bought a Honda CB400. Uh, but when I was totally independent, uh, uh, I started buying scooters. I started with one scooter, the yes, uh, 150 two scooters, three scooters, four scooters, five scooters, and five scooters back in the 90s. And I would scoot to work, and I would scoot going around the district. I was known as the best counselor. Six years ago, I wanted to get back to wheels. Mm. The, the person I bought sold my scooters to, I bought them back from the beginning. And then I, every single day, I bought a scooter, and then eventually got into big bikes. Now I'm on a scooter and big bikes now. So I have a little list here that I just want you to answer. Just choose one. Okay. And that's it. So here we go. Sexy or strong? Strong. Bicycle or motorcycle? Motorcycle. Plants or pets? Pets. Ducati or BMW? Just sign with me today. <laughs> um, apples or oranges? Okay. Showtime or sexy time? <laughs> Miss Universe Andrea Meza or Viva Hot Babe Andrea Del Rosario? Oh, si Andrea. I don't know si Andrea. Rosa. Can you hear? Andrea and I go along. We're good friends. So Andrea Del Rosario. Okay. Captain Marvel or Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel? Or Captain Marvel? Captain Marvel. Foggy or Pangit? Foggy naman. <laughs> Sakto lang. Foggy naman. Sakto lang. Sakto lang. Sakto lang na rin water. Can you tell me about that nga pala? Because I was reading up on it and I didn't get what the whole story was. Ka Kakai is a friend. Mm. She's not particularly close, but she's a friend. She's not that beautiful, you know? Kakai is a comedian. Mm. And then, um, she was given a cease and desist order to stop mentioning Mario Mother mm. or anything. Um, because she was so close to friendship. Oh, because she was friends with him? She was friends with him. They did work together. Did work she went to Bangkok. Uh -huh. She was entertained by Mario. Oh. They're friends. Okay. But in fairness to Tatay, she never said that she was But if she didn't reply to people, she was listening to Okay, okay. She was like, I'm ordinary gentleman. Just let it be. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm not going to say anything about it. Uh -huh. Okay. But to issue a cease and desist order, if you don't want to mention him or not to right. mention that they're together, then you're 
sana, magkakaroon ng endorsement sa Pilipinas. Why don't you wanna be associated with Kaka? Because Kaka is not that good. Mm. And then, nung nagsalita sa labiya pa kayo na, uh, na parang crush siya sa mga, ay, naku, I, 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 I thank you well, Kaka Korea. I'm so happy with that. Yes, like that. Pag maganda, happy ka. Oh, Hindi okay. maganda. Oh. Si Sandy Sist Order, mm. labo mo, yeah. diba? John Cena. Sabi naman niya, he, ap- he apologizes to the Chinese people for calling Taiwan a country. My wife is Taiwanese. Mm. My, my, grand, my, my parents are North Taiwanese. I went to Taiwan. I mm. love Taiwan. Mm. My second country is Taiwan because my family is Taiwanese and my kids are Taiwanese. Mm. So when I read it in the papers, Taiwan is not a country. It's pinam ko. I read it in the papers. Taiwan is a country. Yeah. And then I copied and pasted it and put it on Philippine style. Copy paste. Taiwan is a country. I'm just... I'm trending then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when you make me ask, who is the two of them? I'm good with both of them. I just don't like the way uh, Mario treated Kakai. Right. And I don't like how John Cena is so unbrave. Right. And not calling by one company. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much! That was so much fun! We have a lot to discover about you and uh, you're just an awesome person and we are still going to idolize our Kuya Kim! Before we go, can you please share with all of our viewers where they can follow you and where they can see you? Oh, I'm still on TV Patrol. I'm still on TV Patrol. TV Patrol is on air, 6.30 every single day. But I'll be sent to the Gretchen for you called uh, King Chen. So every commercial I've got uh, TV Patrol and I'm going to be Gretchen. Uh, watch us on Facebook. On Facebook, it's uh, more interesting because King Chen is on Facebook. But if you have cable, TV Patrol is still on cable, cable and uh, it's, it's still a couple of videos. I have my own uh, YouTube channel as well. Uh, Kuya Kim at the end of vlog, I premiere every Saturday at 6 p.m. Like, share, and subscribe. Kuya Kim at the end of vlog. And I'm very active on Facebook also. I don't have an admin, it's really me that's there. My Facebook is Kuya Kim at the end of And Instagram, Kuya Kim underscore at the end of there you go. Thank you so much. You are so cool and that has been so much fun. You. See you guys again next time on Marcy's. Stay safe. Thank you.